Hi, Jeff from Manic Clutch USA here at VMP Performance. I'm going to show you guys how to assemble our twin disc for the GT500 Mustang. Start by opening all of our products. We've got our flywheel, we've got our clutch, we've got our clutch line. Next step, we'll take everything out of the box, we'll clean it thoroughly, and we'll begin our assembly process. So the first step, we've got our cover out of the case. We're gonna go ahead and install the bolts in this because in this application, the bolts actually thread into the flywheel. So we're gonna show you guys a little trick to make this a little easier. And then we're gonna put our bolts through like such. We'll go all the way around, get all eight of them installed. And this will make our life easier here in our upcoming steps. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna wipe down our pressure ring with some solvent. You can use brake clean, you can use lacquer thinner. Whatever's gonna get it nice and degreased and not leave a residue is what we're looking for. Now let's go ahead and slide him into position. Next we'll install our pressure plate side disc, marked pressure plate side. followed by our intermediate plate. And the first thing we're gonna do there is we're gonna remove the foam pieces to protect the springs and shipping. Like before, we're gonna clean both sides of this guy. Get any residual grease, dirt, grime, fingerprints, what have you, off of there. And let's get the other side. Install as such. Next up is our flywheel side disc, and we'll be ensure to install that as such. Next up, our drive blocks. Like our other pieces, we're going to wipe them down as well. And we can install them their respective slots, making sure that they line up with the cover. Now the reason we did this upside down is because we're going to use the bolts as retainers to help hold everything together to make it easier to get it into position. So we'll very, very carefully pick up the clutch like such Try to keep each bolt into position. And if you lose a bolt, it's no big deal. You'll be able to put it back in before you go to install it in the vehicle. Like such. One that's missing here. Okay. And we can even go so far as to work our alignment tool through. So we're ready to go up into the vehicle just as such. Now this is complete. We'll go under the car. We'll show you how to assemble. We'll take our measurements on both the car and the transmission, and we'll proceed with the assembly from there.